CData Arc is a B2B integration platform that provides fully end-to-end -end automation. One of the ends of end-to-end -end automation is your back-end data ecosystem, which includes SaaS applications like your CRM. In this video, we'll see how Arc can simplify integrations that involve Zoho CRM. Here in Arc, we can see the dedicated Zoho CRM connector. This connector requires just three steps to begin integrating your Zoho data. The first step is to create a connection to Zoho. Arc uses OAuth to establish a secure connection, which means that you'll be redirected in your browser to Zoho's login portal, then provide your Zoho credentials there, and then finally be returned to Arc with a token that demonstrates that you have access to Zoho. After you do this once, Arc can handle subsequent connections behind the scenes. I've already performed this OAuth process, so I can simply test this connection to confirm that Arc can still talk to Zoho. So that's step one, simply logging into Zoho via their portal to establish a connection. Step two is to choose an action from this dropdown. Actions determine how Arc will interact with your Zoho data. Common actions are upsert and select, both referencing database and SQL terminology. Upsert is a combination of update and insert and means writing data into Zoho, while select means reading data down from Zoho. In this example, I'll pull some lead data from Zoho to process within Arc, so select is the appropriate action. Step three is a simple matter of choosing which of Zoho's data objects, or tables, are relevant. When I hit Add, Arc will dynamically read the available data object within Zoho and display them here. I'll choose the leads object here as this example. And these three steps are all it takes to integrate Zoho data into your Arc workflow. To see that this is working properly, let's go to the Output tab and manually pull down lead data from Zoho. All right, this output file contains my lead data in XML format. Arc uses XML as a common data format for any data transformation and integration flow. To understand what to do with these kinds of output XML files, let's imagine that I want to convert my lead data from Zoho into CSV, maybe to integrate with another backend system. To accomplish that, I'd want a CSV connector, like this one. But then crucially, I'll also want an XML map connector that glues these two together. The XML map connector can read the output XML format from my Zoho connector, then model the CSV file as an XML, and then provide a visual designer to map between the Zoho data format and the CSV data format. This allows you to automate the conversion of Zoho data into CSV. While the details of data mapping within Arc extend beyond the scope of this particular video, the high-level takeaway is that you can use the XML map connector to perform whatever data transformation or integration that you need from your Zoho data. And of course, this kind of flow could be reversed. I could take a data format like CSV, map it into a structure that Zoho understands with this XML map connector, and then push that data into Zoho CRM all through Arc's automated workflows. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.